Zhu is a quiet, smart, independent, and clever Hafu woman who is half European and half Japanese. She is famous for getting people to give her information and for doing dangerous and brave things to get what she wants. She relies on her fighting and sneaking skills to get past problems, but this method has often hurt her or let her enemies know about her. In at least two situations, she probably would have died if Ringo hadn't helped her right away. Mizu doesn't care about the bigger world or the communities around her because she thinks everyone in power is crooked and privileged. Your likes and comments on our videos help YouTube's algorithm recognize the quality of our content, leading to it being suggested to more viewers. Let's go on. She initially doesn't like Akimi because she is rich and ready to give it all up for Taigen without thinking, and she doesn't help her when her father's men take her. Or maybe Mizu is jealous of Akimi because she likes Taigen. Mizu doesn't care what happens to Shogun Ito either, even though he wants to kill his enemy Fowler. Shogun Ito is to blame for letting Fowler into Japan in the first place. Due to the social restrictions that come with being a woman, hence her decision to disguise herself as a man to give herself more freedom, and her foreign appearance, which she blames on her unknown white father, Mizu has a lot of trouble loving herself. People often call her a monster because of her heritage. But the truth is that her cold, distant personality, brutal and unusual way of fighting, and never-ending desire for revenge have only made people think this way about her. Even though she is able to control her emotions during battle, some comments set her off, especially when they are compared to the Onryo from Japanese myth, which is an angry demon ghost of a wronged woman. This makes her strike out wildly in response. Mizu doesn't trust people because of the bad things that happened to her as a child and as an adult. She doesn't want to get close to anyone because she thinks that will take her attention away from her goal of getting payback. She respects Ringo more and more and lets herself trust him enough to keep her secrets and help her. She doesn't become friends with him. She feels sorry for poor or social outsider people, like her shamed husband Mikio, Ringo, the blind Eiji, and Madame Kaji's prostitutes because she doesn't have much herself. She stays out of their business and never promises to keep bystanders safe unless she has promised to do so or they are part of her plans. Despite her cold and distant attitude, Mizu is not cruel. She helps a mother and daughter who couldn't get into Kyoto by giving them the gold hairpin she stole from Taigen in their first fight. Wishes for Master Eiji's safety and health at a Shinto shrine on her way show how much she cared for him, even though she hadn't seen him in a while. Her mother and her husband Mikio are the only people she has ever let herself love without conditions and be fully open with. Fortunately, both of them broke her trust in many ways. She saves Taigen many times, telling him to look out for himself and that his desire to be a warrior will only lead to his death. Mizu stops Fowler from killing the Shogun's son, saving the Shogun's children as well as Taigen and Akimi. When Fowler tells her that Edo is on fire in a blood sacrifice to your revenge, she is shocked and feels bad about what she did. Even though she is furious at Fowler, she decides not to kill him when she finally corners him and hurts him because he could help her find her other two possible fathers. This shows that she is starting to act with more thought and less reckless impulse. And she is also learning more about the world around her and caring more about it. Subscribing to our channel is a great way to support us and stay connected with our latest content. Don't forget to ask questions and leave comments.